Hello, welcome back to Oracle PLSQL uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about PLSQL procedures parameters. So, let's take a look at example. This is the procedure that we have written in our last video. So, this is a very simple procedure which is going to print a string called hello world. And then from your calling environment or from your SQL plus or you know if you are using SQL developer or whatever from, from whatever tool you can call this PLSQL procedure by a statement like this uh, either either like exec hello world or within a PLSQL anonymous block with begin and end. This is this piece of program is just going to return you a string called hello world. So if you if you see this code this code is a little bit static like if what happens if I want to uh, say hello to my name say Rakesh or hello ABC that means is it possible to change this procedure so that it can print some hello something depending on what I send from my calling environment that means is there any way that I can transfer some data from this calling environment to the procedure and that is what is the use of parameters. So parameters essentially transfer data from the calling environment to the procedure or from procedure to the calling environment. There are two, there are three types of parameters. The first one is in. In the in, in mode we can send a constant value from the calling environment to the procedure and the reverse is out that means we can return a value from this procedure to the calling environment and the ne the last one is combination of in and out that means we can send a variable from the calling environment to the procedure and then in the same variable we can get something back from the procedure to the calling environment I don't want to really confuse you with more theory right now instead of that let's go and take some example of all these three cases this is my first case and what I want to what my what is my objective here is that whenever I am going to I'm going to modify that hello world program in that hello world program I'm going to send a value and then based on whatever value I have sent I want to print that hello that value so in this case it will be hello ABC if I want to send PQR then the results will be hello PQR okay so this is my requirement my requirement is send some parameter from the program uh, like whenever I'm whenever, whenever I'm trying to execute that PLSQL procedure and whatever parameter I'm sending that parameter should be used inside the procedure so I'm going to rewrite the same procedure whatever I have written before so this is a rewrite procedure and in this rewritten procedure what I have done if you see I have made a change so here just after the procedure name what I have given I am given a parameter name and that parameter is p underscore name then I have given that this is in that means I am telling that this is an input parameter okay and it can take a varchar to data type so when so this is when we are ex when we are executing this uh, program so what is happening there is a variable that variable name is p underscore name it's, it, you know basically it's creating a, a variable called p underscore name and the value of p underscore name is coming from the calling environment that is abc okay so now p underscore name is abc then what I'm doing in DBMS output put line I'm concatenating hello with that P underscore name so therefore this is going to return me hello ABC so when I'm going to send PQR so P underscore name is going to have instead of ABC it's going to have PQR okay so P underscore name is PQR and then DBMS output hello PQR so this is how you pass a value from your calling environment so this is your calling environment to the PLSQL procedure okay so next thing we want to see a 
another example where we can show, showcase you what is the use of out variable. So as I told you, so out is going to send some value from the procedure to the calling environment. So this is your calling environment and this is your procedure. Okay. So out is going to uh, send some value from the procedure to the calling environment whereas in is going to send you some value from the from the um, calling environment to the procedure. So I create a procedure. The procedure is p underscore a, p underscore b is in. That means input parameter. That means we have something like a string p underscore a and p underscore b is there. And also there is a something called p underscore c. So p underscore c is an output variable. So p underscore c. So this is so let's change the color of the so this is out and these are in okay so this is how it is created and then we are seeing that begin and end and then we have computing the summation of this first two number and whatever the summation we are putting into the p underscore c so this is how this program is written now in the calling environment what I am saying I declare a variable x is a number right and then I am calling the PL SQL procedure addition then I am giving him three parameters 7, 8 and x. So 7 and 8 are input parameters because the way that I am sending I am sending 7, 8 so 7 is the first thing so 7 is come here 8 is come here and then what we are saying is that whatever the value of resulting value collect in a variable called x okay so now so so this is the scenario like this and then x is it's a variable x which is nothing is there right now after this line number addition what happened the control goes from here to the PL SQL procedure in the PL SQL procedure it is going to create p a 7 8 and then pc at the beginning it's the nothing is there but at this line when we are adding p, c, p underscore c is equal to p underscore a plus p underscore b that means 7 plus 8 so 15 is stored okay since p underscore c is a output variable right so what we are doing is we are collecting that resultant value in the variable called x so whenever the so basically the, the you know so the control is you know after this this thing the control is again control again is going to come back to the calling environment because we have already uh, you know uh, executed the PL SQL procedure so here what happens whatever the value of the output p underscore c is going to store in x that means from this programming point of view we have at this line before addition call x is null after addition call x is value of p underscore c that is 15 so this is how a output parameter works last one is in out parameter so in out parameter is nothing but little bit of optimized way of using both using one parameter for both input and output purpose so I modified that PL SQL procedure and then what I did I say that p underscore x is a in out parameter and then that it can take a number variable so now I define a variable in my calling environment I declare a variable x and that x is 15 so what I am doing in this line I am calling the in out param with value as x so that means now I send a variable to this so now that means there is a variable called x so this x is nothing but p of x as because you know this is this is what we defined in in out parameter in the uh, procedure so in the beginning p of x is the, this p of x is also 15 okay so this is x is 15 then whenever i'm sending this thing to the p, uh, p when basically whenever i'm sending the value the value is going to store in p underscore x p underscore x is 15 then what we did we multiply p underscore x with with 3 and then whatever the result we store in p underscore x so that means this become 45 and then because p underscore x is output parameter that means whatever the value that we are seeing here is going to transfer back to x 
y x because this is the one that we sent. So this is also become 45. That means at line num at this line the x value is 15. And and after this line input output parameter this x value become 45. That means x is being sent as an input parameter and then whatever value that x has that can modified that can be modified by the PLC curve procedure and then we may get another out another value of that variable after the PLC curve procedure is executed. Okay. So that the two more things uh, called formal parameters and actual parameters. So whenever we are so this is our procedure in the procedure this is the specification and this specification this p underscore a is called formal parameters. Okay. So p underscore a is formal parameters, p underscore b is formal parameters, p underscore c is a formal parameter. Whereas in the calling environment, the calling environment whatever value we are sending those are called actual parameters. So 7 and 8 are in, in the constants whereas x which is the output, this is output variable, this is called actual parameters. You do not really need to basically do a lot of things with formal parameters, actual parameters, but this is a naming convention that they use. So the last thing that we want to do, how do I pass the parameters? Say for example, the same example we have taken the addition of addition procedure. So we have uh, three variables, P A is number, P B is number, P C is uh, out, output number. So there are three ways you can pass parameters. The first one is method one is called positional. So in the positional I want to send addition 7, 8, x means that 7 is going to go to PA, 8 is going to go to PB, x is to PC. That is a mapping. But if you don't remember, if you don't want to position, you can also send in a different way. So whatever is the formal parameters, you can basically send by this like like the, the formal parameter and then a arrow and then what is the value. So that means what I am saying here in the named method which is method 2 what I am saying is that PB the second parameter is 7 the first parameter is 8 PC is X that means that means I do not need to um, need to obey any positional rule instead of that I can just define how my parameters are going to be sent. Okay, So this is how how you are going to do in method 2. The advantage of method 2 is that we do not need to remember exactly how the position you want to you want to send because and this is more readable because we are clearly saying that the the formal parameter PB is mapping mapped to actual parameter 7 and you can basically do a combination of positional and named. Make sure that if you do not if you want to do a combination make sure that first parameters you know maybe like either first two parameters are, pos are positional make sure that they are they are according to the position that means in this case 7 is going to p underscore a whatever the case it is and then p underscore c is x p underscore b is 8. So I just I just tell you because it is just given but mostly mostly you are going to use the method 2 because it is more clear and it is more e easy to maintain. Okay, so now let's take a look at the real problem that we have trying to do. The reg underscore sal. This is the PLCL anonymous block that we have given. So we have given in the last example, and this is the reason why you want to know why you want to create a procedure that PLCL block is not good to execute by multiple users. So now we create a procedure for that and what we have done here we have taken two parameters one is input parameters called p underscore emp num and output parameter is p underscore new sum. That means I will take an input no employee number and I will calculate what is what will be his new salary and then I am going to return the new salary to the calling environment. Then the remaining you know basically the remaining part of the code remains same except this line. So what we have done here, we have selecting job and all this thing, employee num is equal to p underscore employee number. So what is the value here? So what, what is the name of the parameter? You use that. Okay. And then all other things remain same except p underscore new sal now 
we are using this variable. So, so this is the how you are going to write the PLSQL procedure and this is how you are going to execute that program. So what you have done, you have created a variable called p underscore new cell, that's a number and then call the PLSQL procedure by giving an employee number, so 7782 that means we have p underscore emp number is equal to 7782 and then that is a v underscore new sal v underscore new sal is there but whenever because since this is a output parameter because so since this is the output parameter this value is going to return this value is going to return to where this value is going to return to the variable called v underscore new underscore v underscore new sal right so after the so basically so like you know, whenever we call this from you know when you call this procedure the control is going to line number one of the PLSQL procedure and it's going to be executed and at this point before the procedure is executed new sal is null v underscore new sal is null but at line number 22 whenever we are associating a value to p underscore new sal which is the output variable that value is coming back and then sent here. So whatever the compute result of this computation is going to be stored in this value. So this is how we are going to use a PLSQL procedure in real life. So this is just an example and then I know that I just covered very very small examples and just very basic examples. But what I just want to show we are going to do a PLSQL project in that project you are going to you know you, you you will have a chance to write extensive plsql procedure but remember that whatever we have done here like you know instead of just not having only one line of code you may write 1000 lines of code but the concept remains same a lot of people make a mistake in giving this you know mode or giving you know understanding what is p underscore you know different differentiating between p underscore c and x lot of people make that mistake and I hope these small examples is going to make that you know make you know make you just understand how this thing works and makes this make your root strong so that you can you, you can uh, write a good PLSQL procedure.